honestly think that was probably the biggest trick in BMX right now. What's up, I'm Ryan Williams and my world's first is a double cork 1440 or double back foot 720 on BMX. So the idea for this trick came uh, when I was at Travis's riding the bag jump at his place. Uh, basically I was trying to do 360 double backies and I would over rotate so I'd do more than the 360. So I'm like why not just do another 360 and make it 720. The first time I actually tried it was at the Action Figures 1 and uh, I came in, I did the trick and I actually over rotated the 720 and ended up doing a 900 and like separated my, my shoulder so I like evened them up. I had a separated shoulder at the time on my right side and then even it up and did my left. When I am practicing tricks, like new ones that I'm not sure like if they're working, something's wrong, I do like film it and then watch it back a lot. I find that if I can visualize it maybe from a different angle, I can maybe see what, what it is going wrong. Because when I'm doing the trick, it's kind of hard to see like, oh, am I like tilted over to the side and that's why I'm coming in like this. And then if I sit there and, and uh, can watch the trick in slow-mo after I do it, I can kind of pick apart what I might be doing wrong and then go out there and try to fix it. Specifically when I did it at Nitro Circus, it actually felt wrong in the air. Like when I was doing it at my house to the airbag, I could spot it at a certain point and go, okay, this is what it feels like and I could feel the gyros through the trick. And when I did it that time at Nitro Circus, it actually felt like I didn't give it enough. But I think that the Nitro jumps slightly bigger than my, my jump, so there was that little bit of extra time and it just kind of sat in perfectly. But I was like, I, I was totally blind uh, after halfway through the trick and then I just landed and rolled away and that's kind of why, why I was so surprised and stoked when I did land it. What, no! what just happened? I, there were so many twists, my brain turned into a pretzel. What the hell was that? He's been trying that forever, huh? I think that's probably like six years in the making. I seriously think that was probably the biggest trick in BMX right now. Pretty surprising to hear Jed say something like that. I know that the, tr the trick is four rotations, but I think that the, the quad backflip definitely has a high risk factor, just because I'm only going upside down twice. But I guess it is the same amount of rotations, it's kind of just more tech technical in a way, because I'm doing two spins and two flips, whereas he's doing four straight flips. But I mean, for him to say that, that's awesome, but uh, uh, I'd have to uh, respectfully um, disagree. No, I never really thought about giving up. I knew that I was really close. It was just kind of little things that I had to tweak. So it, doing the trick and stacking kind of just opened up my eyes to what, was, what I was doing wrong and then I could go back and fix it and come back and do better. Yeah, I usually think of uh, tricks like when I'm kind of going to sleep. So like people think about sheep jumping a fence to go to sleep. I think about trying new well first tricks and because I have the compound I will land, I can basically just wake up the next morning and go see if they work. Pretty much how this trick goes. Yeah.